yeah. making those dramatic life changes is is not always easy. Totally. Uh, I would say it's quite the opposite, right? It's extremely hard if you actually yeah. want to do it for more than a day or two, right? Exactly. Take the weekend off of drinking versus like, no, I'm going to go three, four, five months and exactly. kind of go on a different path. I'm sorry to interrupt. But no, I'm please. Glad, I'm glad you brought that up um, about, you know, you can't be in that environment. I think mm -hmm. that's a huge thing to point out is you do sometimes have to isolate yourself a little bit. Or, you know, one thing that, that I did and what I encourage other people and clients to do, um, and I don't know why I didn't mention this initially, but is, is you really do have to just look at your surroundings. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't mean you have to ditch all your friends and never see them again, but there is kind of almost like an inventory you have to do of kind of recognizing who the toxic you know friendships might be or the party friends or the ones who might, might bring out the part of you that you're trying to, to move on from. and. Sometimes it requires a conversation. Sometimes it just requires taking a step back. But that's such a huge thing. It's really like looking at the people in your life and you know, obviously you're gonna be working with some of them, but a lot of times it's like the friends that we're spending the most time with, right? And so it, it doesn't have to be a big dramatic ending, but I think that's a huge part. And then also, who are the people who elevate me? Who are the people in my life that make me better and inspire me to do better? Who, are, who I can go for hikes with and go for runs with? And we don't have to just get drunk and, you know, doesn't re revolve around toxic habits. Mm -hmm. I think that's really important to like, take a look back, take a look around and kind of realize you do have control over those things. And that's a massive, massive thing. Yeah.